Hi, welcome to another Orbiter video. And in this little series I'm putting together, we are uh, transferring from the International Space Station out to the orbit of the moon with the intention of eventually landing on the moon at Brighton Beach. In the previous video, we undocked from the ISS. We did our uh, TLI burn. Am I saying that right? Translunar injection burn. I think I'm saying that right. And we got about, uh, you know, we got quite a ways out into space. And then we did a little mid-course correction so that when we arrive at the moon, we will hopefully be in plane with the base that we want to land at and at an orbital altitude that's uh, high up enough that we're not, you know, running into the mountains around the moon, but not so ridiculously high that we take forever to come down. So... Let's just go ahead and pick up right where we left off. So let me switch camera views. And let's unpause the simulation and continue on our way. So uh, yeah, we just did complete that mid-course correction. Let's uh, take a quick look at the external view and just see if we can figure out where we're at. There is Earth. So where is the moon? All right, I have no idea where the moon's at, but we'll find it eventually. So let's go ahead and warp time forward now. Did I shut off maneuver mode? I don't think I did. Okay, uh, hmm. so yeah, actually I didn't shut off maneuver mode, so technically I don't quite know how my, uh, how my mid-course correction went. So let's actually use just a tiny bit of translation. Okay, so, so since I didn't turn off the uh, maneuver mode before, I, I didn't actually get a chance to verify how my burn uh, went. So I used, I used just a little bit of translation there to bring the focus PED up high enough so that uh, we can see what our off-plane distance is. And it's actually about 780 kilometers, which sounds like a lot, but we're so far away from the moon right now that with just a little bit of uh, translation from where the other, we can bring that down really easily. So I'm actually gonna just do that without setting up another maneuver. So that's not what we want. So that's bringing it down. Um, we may actually have to do another maneuver because there's probably too much guesswork involved here. So that's... That's uh, let's try that one. So that's bringing down the off plane quickly, and then this one. So right now I'm just using a bit of forward translation, which is bringing down the off plane rapidly, and then I'm using a little bit of lateral translation to keep the focus PED from getting too far out of control. So it looks like those two will get what we want without having to just set up a whole other maneuver. So let me just tap those around a bit. Yep. So you can see the off plane now is uh, right there and then bringing down the focus PED a bit. And we'll go with that. So right now we're two kilometers off from the base. Let me actually just tap that just a bit more. Um, actually, I made it worse. <laughs> All right, good enough. Let's not mess with it anymore. Let's warp time forward and get within the moon's SOI. So I'm gonna select Orbit MFD on this side, and we'll go out to 10,000. And just kind of keeping an eye on the gravitational influence of the moon. Right now we're still completely in the red, which means um, there we just ticked over to 0 0.01. 
but uh, also the the HUD will automatically change over to orbit moon when we're close enough to the moon for it to have a significant impact on our orbit. Right now, the sun is the primary factor in determining what's happening with our orbital, orbital maneuvers. And I just saw this the moon coming into view over there. And I can also see, you know, all our information here going sideways. So we'll do another mid course. But let's get within there, right there. Get within the moon's SOI. And there's the moon right there. Okay, so let's uh, bring up TransX again on this side. Turn on the maneuver mode. And we'll go to um, prograde. And first thing I want to focus on is getting that focus PED up above the surface of the moon so that I can see the base information. Uh, course is too much, so let's go to super. And that's, uh, let's, maybe that's not enough because it's not adjusting things very quickly. There we go. And that doesn't really appear to be having any um, impact at all on our focus PED. Um, at this point, I'm guessing outward's going to be the one that we need. So let's just reset that. And let's go to outward to fine. A bit surprised that outward's not changing our focus PED at all. So let's uh, reset that. I guess we need plane change. It's the only one left. Hang on, I'm confused for a moment. Um, I, I think I understand why, though. No, no, I don't understand why. I want view and counter on this side. And... All right, let me reset this. So let's look at the maneuver. So the maneuver mode's on. And maybe maybe the focus PED should be coming up, right? Or am I not thinking correctly? Let me do a lot of correction and see what happens. Why is that not affecting? Is it because I'm supposed to be looking at the hypothetical. I am so out of practice. Okay, let's look at... Let me, let me also, I bet you I lost my map information when the moon changed over, so we've got the moon reference. Let's target none, and let's target Brighton Beach. Yeah, I think I, think I lost what I was looking for when the, when the gravitational bodies switched. I do remember that being an issue. So uh, let's actually just let's re let's reset everything and start over. So let's go to maneuver mode and just shut it off. That should reset. Turn it back on. And um, and then go through our variables again, maybe. And let's start with outward because I'm pretty sure outward is the one that's going to make the most sense here for what we're trying to do. But I'm still not quite seeing what I expect to see. But uh, let's see what happens when hypothetical PED gets greater than 1.738. So there's there's my base information. Okay. Um, all right. So it's just because I didn't I had to reselect the base. So let's see. So that's uh, quite a bit. 49. And we're 620 off. Let's uh, bring that down a little bit. So. A hypothetical PED of something like that is what I kind of want. So that's a 46 delta V burn. So let's keep that in mind and reset outward. And let's check once again with prograde. Um, I feel like outward would be the correct one, but so. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can see here we're up to 74. And yeah, we, we, we need a ton of Delta V to just bring the... Okay, so let's... Uh, that's definitely not what we want. Or at least not directly. Again, maybe a combination. But let's look at uh, plane change. I don't think we're going to need this. I don't think it's going to help much. Yeah, not really. Okay, so let's start with outward to correct our uh, ballistic trajectory that we're currently on. And... And let's do an update. All right, there's our outward, and we and we know that it's going to cost around fifty, you know, something like that. So let's just go straight to that number till our focus PED is above the surface. It's above the surface now, but not by much. Let's start with that. Okay, now let's play with plane change to see if we can bring that off-plane distance down. And that's helping. But that's quite a bit of plane change. And that is impacting our focus PD. So let's, uh, let's keep that in mind, that plane change is helping, but at you know a, a reasonably high cost. And let's see if prograde will help our off-base distance more cheaply than... and it's not it's not helping in the slightest actually okay and uh, th that makes sense to me so let's go ahead and reset that and let's go over to outward uh, rather plane change and let's put in some plane change to get our off-base distance corrected and what we notice that it's raising our focus PED. So let's kind of start there and back up to outward and start taking out some of that outward. Okay, so, so we're going to do this thing where I know I'm going to put in more plane change, so I'm going to start at the moment by taking out extra outward. So we're going to bring outward down to like 38, then go back over to plane change, add in some more plane change. And then I'm going to stop there, go back to outward, and take away some more outward that's bringing us down. And then again, we're going to go down to, say, 33, something like that. And then add in some more plane change. And we've kind of overshot too far this way. So... Okay, we're almost we're almost there. We're barely above the surface of the moon though, so let's maybe put in a bit more outward. Okay, I like the way that looks. That has us there. So again, without fiddling too much, let's uh, view over to target. Um, right, we have to change the date out to the future a little bit. So let's view over to the maneuver and just put our date uh, while we're here. Let's just do a quick update. All good. And now the date, and we're just going to do a, uh, a hyper setting. So we're at 6750 right now. Let's put it at 6760. Although after putting it out into the future, Should have started with that. So 67. Let's put it at 67.90. So we have a couple more seconds here to uh, correct our information that has changed quite a bit. So we want uh, plane chain um, outward, and I believe we want more of it. Oh, corrected too much. Focus PED. Okay, it's coming up, which is what we want. And okay, so so we're barely above the surface, and our off plane is um, close. But let's put in just a little bit more off plane, just 
to bring us closer to where we're trying to get. And right about there, perfect. So we're 20 kilometers up, which is good. So let's go ahead and burn this maneuver. And so let's go over to auto center. There's so many variables. Turn that on. And let's go ahead and time warp through all this. We're looking at 78 delta V, which is substantially more than what our mid-course correction was. But um, now that we're closer to the moon, hopefully our information is a bit more accurate. Uh, get. And we'll probably still have to do a little bit of bumping one way or the other. But uh, hopefully this will have us most of the way where we need to be. All right, turn off auto center. Now we'll look at transex on this side, and this time we, we will remember to turn off maneuver mode so that we have a more accurate picture of what's happening. Okay, so based on the direction that we're oriented, we remember that it was a uh, plane change and um, outward that was helping us. So based on the orientation that we're currently at, let's put in just a bit of outward, which would be uh, three. and plane change, which would be up. Which I can't tell because it's not making enough of an impact. So well, I don't really want to go through a whole nother maneuver. Um, let's just quickly take a look at what we need to get back where we want to be. And then we'll, uh, we don't want that one. So and this time we'll actually put the date out into the future a little bit. So we'll go 68, 20, 5. And then I just want to see, so we need just a bit more outward to get us up above the surface. Just a very, very little bit. actually put in so that gets us again about 20 kilometers up and then look at plane change again and a little bit of plane change just to bring down that off base distance so hopefully this is the last maneuver we need Let me adjust that back a little bit And that's good enough right there. So let's view over to the target and auto center. And burn time calculator will get the maneuver from Transex. And then we'll time warp forward and just have it take care of everything for us. And hopefully we're done with our mid courses. I don't remember it taking three, but probably inevitably doing something less than ideal here. Okay, so that's our burn complete. Turn that off and view over to the maneuver. Turn maneuver mode off. And let's look at transex on this side. And it's still not quite right, is it? Um, so what does that mean? Um, that's going the wrong way. So I think now with just a little bit of linear translation, I can figure out what I need to figure out. And then, um, and then what we'll do is we'll start moving forward uh, towards the moon, and we'll just use time, uh, like every, you know, five thousand seconds that we get closer. So currently. Our PET is 16,000, so we'll cut that in half. We'll go down to 8,000 and then check things out again. And then down to 4 and so on. So let's go ahead and warp time forward to 16 or to 8,000. Uh, just keeping in mind, the closer we get, the more 
uh, fuel we have to burn to make corrections, but uh, but things are going in the direction that I want to see them going in. So oh, we missed our 8,000 mark, but that's okay. So we're currently at uh, 6,000 off, but it was going in the direction that I wanted to see it go in. So let's go down to uh, 4,000 time to periapsis. So there we are. And it's showing us with the off plane distance of about six kilometers. So let's tap our translation a little bit here just to see if we can bring that in closer. And I'm fine with that minimum altitude. It's fine with me. So I'm using a bit of uh, lateral translation one and a bit of um, up down with the eight just to keep the minimum altitude under control and to get that off-plane distance where I want it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So let's uh, warp time forward so that we're, let's say, 1500. Uh, so let's go 1700 on the time to the periapsis and then we'll look at everything one more time. But I think we're close enough now that we're probably done making corrections. Actually, let's call it 2000. Okay, so I like that. So it currently shows our off-plane distance is only 222 meters, and our minimum altitude is 8.4, 8.5K. I think that's high enough. Actually, I think we need to be like 12 kilometers up, but we're not going to change it. I don't think the models are... Uh, hopefully we'd, hopefully the model doesn't have us crashing into any, any, moon, uh, any mountain peaks, but if so, I guess... Uh, my bad. So let's go ahead and do our orbit insertion burn and then we'll end this video and move on to the next part. So I believe we can also do that with burn time calculator. So let's bring up burn time calculator and let me think about it though. So What information do I need to give burn time calculator to tell it that I want it to... Do I just do circularization? Yeah. So time to the periapsis. Okay, that looks correct. Okay, so we'll go ahead and warp time forward. So we're 500 seconds out, and I believe it will just do everything it needs to do. I don't think I have to put it into the retrograde position. Maybe I do, though. So... Alright, we're almost there. Let's go ahead and warp time forward through our burn. Okay, so that, that did pretty good. Um, we're a bit lopsided, but uh, I think even based on where we're at right now, we can add in just a bit more. Um, we probably don't want to go any more than that because that's going to bring our PEA down. Let's see. Rotation. Um, let me think about which direction do I want to be. If I'm out a bit this way, and I use kind of a combination of retrograde and out uh, inward, I guess it would be in this direction. I think I went too far. Um, yeah, I think I went around too far. So I think I want to be about right here, halfway in between, and let me just see. That's not quite doing what I want. Let me try to open the retro doors. What I'm trying to do is bring down my apoapsis while also bringing up my periapsis. Hmm. So I'm not quite angled the right way. Alright, let me try... Translation. Rotation.
Let me go prograde for a second. And so now I want to go 45 degrees off of prograde. Oops, stop time warp on, my bad. And I went way fast on the time warp. I did not mean to do that. Just go right about here. Let me just see. It's not quite what I have in mind. But yeah. Alright, we'll we'll fix it up when we get over to um Apoapsis. When we're not super far. Let's actually go ahead and take care of that and then we'll end this part of the video. Let's just get our orbits completely perfectly circularized. coming up and let's circularize we'll have a burn time calculator take care of it it's a really small burn and it missed why did it miss oh because it's doing it at the periapsis all right well we're not too far past uh, Apoapsis, so let's go ahead and bring up the other side of our orbit. And for what I'm trying to do here, we'll say that's good enough. Now I just want to take a quick look at map MFD and see if we are indeed lined up, and it looks like we are. So yeah, we are going to pass over the base. Uh, I believe we're orbiting... Okay, so we're orbiting currently away from Brighton Beach, so we'll have to go around uh, one whole orbit before we can land, but we'd have to do that anyway because we need to bring down um, our periapsis at Brighton Beach, and it looks like we're going to be going to be landing in the dark. But uh, yeah, that's okay. All right, so I'm going to say that's going to be it for this part of the video and uh, or this part of the series. And in the next video, when we come back, we'll try to get everything set up so that we can land at Brighton Beach and maybe even complete the landing in that video as well. Uh, if you like this video, please do hit that like button, and I will see you in the next video.